to the weekly vlog. This one is very Christmassy, very festive. I didn't film an intro, I literally just went straight into it. So that's how we're gonna start this. If you are new to my channel, do subscribe down below. And basically I spent the beginning of this vlog decorating the Christmas tree, putting the Christmas decorations up, getting in the festive spirit with my mum. And I pretty much just filmed that but didn't intro it. So hopefully you get the general gist. I mean, I'm pretty sure you've seen somebody decorate a Christmas tree before. You've seen me decorate a Christmas tree before, but we are gonna get straight into it. Welcome to a festive week in my life. Let's go. Got this new bauble from Milan. It has Milan Cathedral on both sides of it. I actually think it's quite cute, but we don't know where to put it because it's actually really quite big. But it does sort of match the theme, which is good. We're kind of putting these icicles all over the tree. It is time to do the fire play. As you can see, it's currently pretty bare. I will film an after shot. Also, I am borderline in pajamas, but it's cozy. Oh, the fireplace is done by the way guys. I'll do a proper tour after everything is done and also probably once it's dark so it looks a bit more festive. <laughs> We are on to tree number two. This is the tree in the dining room straight conservatory. Mum's rocking the antlers, by the way. I haven't really vlogged you yet. You uh, look way more put together than me, who- Hey, that's the tree. <laughs> have come dressed as- The teddy bear. Oh, what's it? The dog crossed with a teddy bear, crossed with maybe a thimble. Oh, yeah. With the hair. <laughs> I need to wash it. I am gonna wash it after this, but I just thought, you know, for the Christmas trees, we'll go for the little bun. And um, yeah, we're gonna crack on. The theme in this room is like traditional red and gold Christmas. In the living room, we have like white and pink and green. Um, in here, it's like oldie worldy Christmas vibes, you know? I'll see what have you got on? You got a little banner on that says Santa Paws. Very cute, very cute. You have a better Christmas wardrobe than me and that's not a lie because I don't have any Christmas jumpers. Not any, not one. <laughs> the dog is about seven. Aww. Lottie has not contributed to the decorating of the tree, but she has helped by just laying here and looking very cute. Camera's gonna struggle to focus now, but this tree is done. Here is a little bit of a better look at it. In the conservatory slash dining room, this is like all of the random baubles that we've collected since we were like children. So like, you know, when you go on holiday, if you get any baubles, we've got a lot from Disneyland. We've got, I think this one's from Harrods, yeah. Just a collection of like really gorgeous baubles, but they don't necessarily match the other tree, so. Yeah, I absolutely love this and my mum just said this as well But I love that because it's in front of the window it reflects like three times and it just looks really like I don't know really festive in here even though we've only got one tree it looks kind of like we've got three This is what the living room looks like the trees kind of leaning We're waiting on my dad to like tip it back to like press against the wall a bit better But otherwise it does look very cute I also think we've listened to every single Christmas song that has ever actually been made <laughs> We've listened to this playlist. I think it's looped around Good morning, it is Wednesday, the 1st of December. Happy beginning of Advent. This feels like it has come around so quickly and I've said this literally every single month of the year but I just don't know where the year has gone. However, I thought that I would open my Advent calendars and show you what I've got in day one of my two beauty Advent calendars and then also two chocolate Advent calendars. One of them is from a brand, one of them is from Tom and then I also have an Advent plant. Happy December, happy beginning of Christmas. Let's see what I got in advent calendar day one. So I've put them by the tree kind of just because I wanted it to look cute kind of for this clip. This is the um, Florence by Mills advent calendar. This is actually a 12 days of Christmas advent calendar so I'm going to be doing this one every other day but in day one I got this and to start with I thought it was a lighter. I'm not going to lie it looks like you should like lift the lid off and flick it but it's actually a tinted lip balm and it's really cute. It's actually got this little like I think it's meant to be a whale, maybe, on the top. But yeah, I really, really like that. It came in this really cute box. Second one is this one. This actually only arrived literally about two days ago. This is from Elizabeth Arden. And this is actually a chocolate advent calendar. Um, and this has little lint chocolates in it. So this is the first one out of there. It's crunchy nougat on nugget. That is going to 
split opinion. I say nougat, my mum says nugget. How do you say that word, guys? And then lastly, I don't know if you can hear my daddy saying nougat from the other room. Um, lastly, there is this glossy box advent calendar. This is probably the star of the show because it's just so big. Um, this is what was in day one. I actually did show you this in last week's vlog. So it is this Elemis cleanser. Elemis are a really good brand. They remind me of like a spa. I feel like this is what you get when you go to the spa. But yeah, this is day one. I will try to keep up to date best I can with showing you what I get, but I also know that it's not the most exciting part of the vlog, so I might do like a, a roundup at the end of the week. And then lastly, this is the one that Tom got me. It is the big lint advent calendar with the teddy behind day 24, which is just amazing. So I'm gonna have day one from this as well. I feel like opening advent calendars is gonna be an activity that takes like 10 minutes out of my day every single day. I'm not mad about it. So a little bit more context on this morning. I am I'm actually about to head to London again. I feel like I've literally spent the majority of the last two weeks in London. But as ever, I'm not really mad about it. I'm actually going down today for my management Christmas party. So you guys know, I think, or maybe you don't, um, I'm with the management MC Saatchi. There's loads of us that are on this like management. Like a lot of people maybe don't actually know, but like most YouTubers, especially most YouTubers that do YouTube full time, have a management that like help them out with work, brand deals, admin, emails, things like that, bits and bobs. Not everybody does, but like a lot of people do and a lot of people that you might watch on YouTube are actually with the same management as me. So tonight is their Christmas party, it's their Christmas event. It's actually at the Treehouse in London, which I went to last week in my vlog um, with my mum. It's the beautiful rooftop restaurant in like central London. I've never been for food and I've never stayed at the hotel. I am staying at the hotel tonight. There are quite a few of us staying over. I'm really excited. I actually don't know too many other people on my management, like especially because we haven't really met in person for like the last two years and they've signed a lot of new influencers and a lot of new people that I haven't met before. So I'm quite excited to meet them tonight. I'm excited to see my manager. Gonna hop on a train down to London now. Fingers crossed it's gonna run smoothly. I seem to have had quite bad luck the last couple of times I've got the train to London, but I don't wanna jinx anything. So we are gonna go, I'm very excited. This is kind of like my work Christmas night out, which is so bizarre because I actually just feel like I, I mean, I'm self-employed. I literally spend all the time that I'm working alone so it's quite nice to do things like all together because it, it can be quite a lonely job yeah i'm very excited gonna head to london and i shall bring you along i have just arrived in london this lighting is spectacular this might be one of the nicest views i've ever had out of any hotel room i do really think it helps that currently um, the sunset is just absolutely stunning. I'm looking out onto this incredible view of London and actually my geography is wrong because I thought I could see the London Eye but that's not the London Eye, that's Winter Wonderland. Wait, is it or is it the London Eye? Does Winter Wonderland have a big ferris wheel? I'm pretty sure it does. <sighs> We are staying in the tree house, which is literally on Regent Street. So the building to the right of me is the BBC and the building directly opposite my room is the Langham Hotel, which is like famous for being the bougiest hotel ever. Um, this is probably up there to be fair. It's called the tree house. I'll do a little room tour in a second. First, I need to show you the view. Also, I think we must be over the flight path, one of the airports, because there's so many airplanes going past. Just look at this. I really, I mean, I don't want to get all like artsy, but I think there's something so like, I don't want to say poetic, just like beautiful about London at sunset when it's been raining with the Christmas lights up on Oxford Street and the camera's not going to focus because there's rain on the window. Just look at this. This city is stunning. I really think it's it impossible for another city anywhere in the world to top how I feel about London like it's just so beautiful here is the wheel that I was debating between being the London light and winter wonderland but I think it's winter wonderland because it's got that other thing next to it that looks like a ride over at this side we have like the very top end of Regent Street so I feel like if you've ever been shopping on Regent Street you might have seen this before and then this building here is the BBC building. Now we also need to talk about the room. Obviously it's called the tree house, so it's all like woodland themed. It's got these gorgeous pillows. I absolutely love these. I'd have these for my own bed. Really cute little throw. Absolutely gorgeous, just like interior decor. And this might be the cutest thing ever. I think this is meant to look like an old train seat. And then on it, it says, please look after this bear. Obviously this is meant to be Paddington bear. I don't know if this is a gift from either my management or from the hotel or something that they do when they have like events here or if I leave Paddington Bear in the room. I'm not too sure if I take him home with me and I don't want to steal so I'll just look after him. We've got this big boy mirror, cute little map of London behind me. I mean the bathroom might steal it for me to be honest. I mean I've, I've put a towel on the side so imagine it's a bit tidier than this but like I say everything is treehouse themed, woodland themed. This is the kind of bathroom I aspire to have in my own house. Like this just is 
very nice <laughs> it just looks expensive and it smells expensive and the shower is just beautiful i just absolutely love it i think my favorite thing is the window seat that i was standing in slash sitting in to start with when i got here because just look at this it's got a little oil lamp it's got two chairs they're like it's like a reading nook, but with the best view you've ever seen. Guys, this room is filled with trinkets. Like, at the side of the bed, there's one of these balls. And I've not seen one of these since I was literally about four years old. And I was, like, trying to work out what you do with it. I knew you did something to it. I was like, oh, that's one of those things. But I'd forgotten what it was. It's one that you shake, and then it, like, tells you your fortune on the bottom. Do you remember these? Do you remember these? I haven't seen these for years. So I just shook it, and it said, don't count on anything. I don't claim that so we'll do it again i don't really fully know like what you do to it my sources say no i'm getting negative vibes from this ball i'm getting negative energy i'm putting it back i actually don't know if i mentioned this earlier i'm actually meeting hope i don't know if you guys know hey it's hope um i absolutely love her content she's like mainly an instagrammer she's really cool so i'm meeting her to get ready with and also a girl called jade who i've never met before i've met hope a few times Never met Jade, but she seems absolutely lovely. Um, so we're all gonna get ready together. I've been chatting to them on Instagram today and stuff, so that should be really nice. I also think a couple of other people are coming that I do know. I'm actually not too sure. Like, I don't know who's attending. I know who's been invited. I don't know who's attending. Um, so we're all gonna get ready together in a little bit, but they're not here yet. So I'm honestly, I think I'm just gonna take in the view. Like, this whole last month has been such a whirlwind. And I still, even though I've been doing this job for like quite a while, just feel so lucky that I get to work in London quite a lot. Like, I just love this city so much. There's something about it at Christmas. I think it's because it's Christmas I'm feeling real like sentimental about it. Anyway, I'm gonna have a shower I think as well because the tube. The tube in a winter coat. Oh, I don't even need to say anymore. How cute is this advent calendar? I'm gonna presume that this is from my management. I've actually never had one by Hotel Chocolate before but it's so weird because when I was on the train I was watching somebody open this on Instagram. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. I mean I am guessing that this is from Saatchi and not the hotel but you never know it's so lush i have so many advent calendars now chocolate for breakfast every day in december right this is my finished christmas party outfit it's like this such shiny red ruched top and then like a matching blazer and trousers i don't really know if i look like i'm going to a christmas party or if i look like i'm going to maybe a meeting either way we're just vibing with it i've gone for like loose wave they'll probably drop out a bit more um and i do think it looks festive i'm just not really too sure if i actually vibe with this but i think it's just because i've never really worn anything like this and i've matched my lipstick and my nails so we are good hope and jade are in here we've also all just finished getting ready and we're pretty much ready to go i think don't know if they want to be in the vlog do you want to be in the vlog guys okay. do you want to give a little wave <gasps> wait you can show your outfits because you both look so good just say where everything's from <laughs> go on OOTD. okay so my full outfit is from zara amazing that Even makes it easy no way everything. love 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 the skirt big fan of this yeah. and this is jade hello hello <laughs> i love your dress very much in here it looks black i feel like you oh. need to stand in the nice light oh the nice light yeah okay. hope's outfit actually is black so that color that color is a true representation <laughs> this is not black this is a gorgeous this like is a green yeah um, oh nice and shoes i uh, can't remember very nice shoes maybe? very and nice and then rings are, are Cute. Rings. oh my gosh you have so many rings on <laughs> so what oh my god you've got like a hand I'm of gold obsessed. and a hand of silver I know. Yeah. oh i, I love that ah you look amazing <laughs> you look so good and i think we're pretty much ready to go i think it's seven o'clock now isn't it yeah so we're gonna head down we don't really know what to expect we don't really know what's gonna happen maybe you'll see maybe i won't vlog anything i don't really know what the vibe's gonna be but we'll see this is the outfit and uh, fingers crossed it's gonna be a good night we're drinking wine. Where's your drink? Cheers. 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 We've also drank a worrying amount with no real food. So, um, yeah. Not gonna lie to you, I'm unsure what this is, but we'll take it. It's fine. Georgia, what is it? Your face says a are you enjoying the chips and the gin? These are the best chips. I'm literally not even joking. I think they've been cooked in like some kind of truffle or like truffle oil. Good morning, it is now the next day. Um, I think you could say that I had too many wines. Uh, like honestly, it was such a good night. I don't know how much I filmed, but like it was just such a good night. It was actually so lovely to see everybody. There's so many people on this management that I either haven't met before or haven't seen for literally years. So the whole evening was just amazing. And also can I just add this bed might be the comfiest bed 
ever. I am nursing a bit of a hangover. My issue was I really didn't eat enough and I feel like that was a slippery slope. Like once you've not eaten enough but you're already on the alcohol. Yeah, I've got a couple of regrets, but it's okay. It was a great night. So, you know, I've somehow got ready before 9am. It's a miracle. <laughs> so I'm going to meet a Hope um, and Jade and we are all going for breakfast together this morning. Everybody that stayed here last night also is staying for breakfast. And then I have a train home at like lunchtime out of King's Cross. So I'm very ready to go and eat some food. And I'm, I'm just very tired. Like I could have eight more hours in this bed. It was divine. <laughs> so I forgot to film breakfast, but I will film the view instead. Actually, I think prefer it in the daylight. Like last night looked beautiful in the dark, but like in the daylight, you can see you can see so much of London. How are you feeling this morning, guys? <laughs> yeah, feeling fresh, but at least you're facing this. I'm sat on my back to this. <laughs> it was a good night. It was worth it. It was so much fun. I am back in the room, feeling a lot more alive after some toast. Bread really just cures you. I don't want to leave, honestly. I woke up this morning and I was just thinking like, I wish I had this bed and I wish I had this view. I feel like I'm really looking at the London that is like in movies. Do you know what I mean? Like this is London. Also, everybody was lovely as well. I feel like I've made some really good friends. I also feel like I've, I like pushed my comfort zones quite a lot because I am so the kind of person that like once I know one person, I'm happy to stay with that one person coming to events like this where I don't know anybody like really well obviously I do know Hope and then I got to know Jade they were both lovely but like I was kind of forced into a situation where I was like right I'm gonna have to talk to new people and that shouldn't be something that's scary I think I'm just like not used to it or out of practice I had a really good time I'm gonna hop on the tube now and then get the train home a lot of the girls are staying because they're going to like other events this evening but I am just heading back home and to be honest I'm quite grateful for that I feel like one evening of socializing I need some time to like recharge my social back um, so I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna do my advent calendar first though. I'm gonna have a little chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I actually look like? I look like the bandit from Home Alone. <laughs> <laughs> Hello guys, I really did not film anything. Oh, I'm a little bit self-conscious. Let's just look like we're talking to each other. I didn't vlog anything else yesterday because when I got back, I just slept, didn't I? He was a bit hungover, wasn't he? I was a bit hungover. <laughs> also, it was a long journey and I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna go to bed. And then when I woke up, I just read for like, four hours so it's actually a very calm afternoon um but i didn't film it i will talk to you about the book when i get home though but right now it is friday afternoon mum and i have just come to the garden center because it'll all be done up for christmas now and it's kind of like an annual tradition to come to pick up some bits and bobs Christmassy, Christmassy decorations, Christmas bits and bobs. I don't really know what we're gonna buy, if we're gonna buy anything. Don't have any makeup on, but wow, those headlights are really bright. Um, but I have stolen Harry's hat, because my hat's got a hole in it. Because one, I'm not wearing any makeup. Two, I do quite like the hat, but three, I'm realizing I do look like the guy from Hamlet. Yeah. Is he also called Harry? <laughs> it's a Harry hat. <laughs> right, <laughs> we're gonna go in now. One's bullying me. Would you have kitchen appliances on your Christmas tree? <laughs> not sure if I'm a fan or not of like a blender as a bauble. Shall we do a little haul guys? We're back in the car. We got some bits and bobs. Ow! I banged my head on the roof. So I'll let mum go first. Go first? Well, what did you buy? Well no, mum bought it all. <laughs> I was just there for the ride. <laughs> Two little Christmas trees. Two little trees. One for the downstairs bathroom and one for somewhere else. One for the one for Harry's room. Maybe. Or the windowsill. Or the windowsill at the top of the stairs. Yeah, that might look better on there. A little towel. I really like this. Look at this tea towel. For the price. It's not tea towel. It's not a tea towel. It's a hand towel. towel. Sorry, a hand towel. Like, well, same thing. No, hand it's not. <laughs> A hand towel for when you wash your hands. It's just going in the downstairs bathroom yes, too. Is this to Christmas Christmasify the downstairs yeah. toilet? Except I can't find any Christmas soaps anywhere. You know, like oh uh, yeah, yeah, the white company. No, but they don't look festive. You know, like yeah, a Bellison. Oh, yeah, yeah, a Bellison Hardy. Yeah. Thing is, you always get them at Christmas, like on Christmas Day, and then as a gift. Yeah. yeah. But normally you can buy them like in supermarkets. And then lastly, these are my two picks. I'm most excited about these. I have to do those because I've run out of pants. Yeah, we got two new baubles, one for each Christmas tree. So you saw us decorate two trees at the beginning of this vlog. This one is going potentially on the one in the conservatory. Watch the dining room. Can you see it? It's clear. It's got like 
um, sprigs of holly on it, little red, little green lumber. This is my favourite. I absolutely love this one. This is for the main tree in the living room. That's quite old fashioned, that one. It is quite old fashioned, but I quite like it. It's like another clear one. We've gone for a theme. Mm. But this time it's got pink and white flowers on it. Mum's right, it does look a little bit dated, but in like a... No, in a nice way. Yeah, in like a vintage sort yeah. of way. I really like it, actually. And then it's got a gold, little gold hanger. It'll look nice in the tree in the living room. Sound, and now we're going to drive home. So that oh, was dark. our centre haul. It's nearly dark. Oh, yeah. It's only been that late. It's three o'clock. I have not ended this vlog. I've actually just got in from a little date night with Tom. And yes, I am wearing slightly embarrassing Christmas pajamas. No, we're not judging. But I said that I was going to talk to you about this book. So I'm going to do that real quick just before I get into bed. Basically, I finished this yesterday. I read it in a day, which is incredibly unlike me at the moment. I've been in such a reading slump and also I just haven't really had time. I literally read the whole book on the train home from London and then like finished it in the evening. It's called The Other Passenger. It's by Louise Candlish. Tom is about to walk in because we have just got back and he is behind me now. <laughs> so I'm not going to Sorry, hi. It's Tom. Um, I'm not going to ramble on about it, but basically all you need to know is that I, I read it in a day. The best plot twist, the best like twists and turns, you just do not see the ending coming. Do you want to borrow it off me? Um, I've got all the Harry Potter series, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically I really, really, really recommend it. I've read other books by her and everything she writes, you just don't see the ending coming. It's like such a plot twist every time. So yeah, top of my book recommendation list right now is this. Whack it on your Christmas list if you are going to ask for any book, I recommend it. I can honestly say that every word she just said is 100% truth because she ignored me for three <laughs> hours yesterday while she was reading this book. That's unlike me at the moment though, isn't it? I haven't mm. read a book in ages. So it must have been good. Because it was. Obviously I am important and interesting. Obviously. Right, we're going to end this here, guys. Um, I hope you have enjoyed it. We're actually spending the weekend in Oxford, aren't we? We're going to go see Richard. We are going to go see Tom's friend Richard. We're also, I'm going to see Eve briefly as well. Um, we're going with some of Tom's other mates. So it's going to be like a whole thing. It's not going to be online, but we have to be up quite early in the morning because we're going pretty much straight off to Oxford. And then we're also going Christmas shopping, aren't we? We are. Vista Village. Vista Village. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm very excited about that. It's going to be a good weekend. Thanks. Subscribe if you're new. <laughs> and I should be back on Tuesday, probably, although I don't have video filmed yet. Ooh. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this vlog and I shall see you for more festive content throughout December, probably featuring Tom. Bye. Bye.